Okay, today's project is going to be somewhat similar to what I did on the last video. I have some old Craftsman 18 volt NICAD tools. Specifically, I like this little trim saw. You know, it's the, it's a really nice size. It's good for small stuff. It's really light. Problem is, these are the batteries. And you can find batteries like this on eBay. Uh, they're not the greatest quality. And let's face it, they're NICAD. They're heavy. I'm going to do something that I did uh, similar with uh, the works. This was my last video. I made this adapter here. And um, painted it up actually. Basically it's just a shell of an 18 volt uh, works uh, battery. And I attached a charger for a 20 volt lithium battery. And ran the wire, ran a wire through. Uh, let's see if I can get this off. This is always a challenge here. Okay. Ran a wire through here, through the empty case, and into here. So that allows me to take the uh, 20 volt battery. That on here. Put it in the, back in the weed wagger. And that's how it kind of looks. Just like that. And it really adds no weight at all. And the weed wagger works good. So that works good. So kind of in the same vein. Uh, same idea is that I'm going to take this battery apart and do the same thing. I'm going to, I've already been taking the screws out. Uh, take all the cells out. I'm going to actually reuse these wires. Because what I did on the other adapter over there, um, you can keep all of this stuff. Now, you got, if you put this cover back on. It's the case with most batteries. You can see where the polarity is. Positive and negative. This is positive. The red wire looks like it's the positive and the, um, the black looks look to be the negative. So basically I'm just going to disconnect it from the disconnect it from the cells, get rid of the cells. Keep this because this will go back into the housing. Okay. And uh, I'm going to use a crimp connector and I'm going to crimp a wire that's going to be, uh, I tried to solder it. Uh, I have a friend at work who has a better soldering iron. But this is a positive terminal. On This is another charger, by the way. And you can see, again, it's, it's uh, there's shadows here. This is the positive uh, terminal, and this is the negative over here. This will all come off. This will come off. And um, basically, I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did on this one, which is to have a case, and I'm going to put the charger underneath it again. It won't be a char it won't be used as a charger, but that's the idea. And that way, it's a receptacle for the um, the 20 volt battery that I have. I have other 20 volt batteries, but uh, I haven't used this saw in years, mainly because this battery is dead, and I have other batteries that are all dead. You know, if you don't use the tools and keep the, the batteries, just don't last. So, that's the plan, um, and we'll see how that I know it. I wanted to show you the cost of these batteries. This is on eBay. Now, this is a refurbished battery, but I bought stuff from this manufacturer. This is works. This is basically works as, uh, it's their eBay store. But everything that I have ever bought, I buy tons of their refurbished tools, and they are brand new. I've never had one go bad on me. And if you can get a battery for $14, you get two batteries for, you know, 30 bucks. I mean, where can you go wrong with that? I mean, that's the battery. Those are 20 volt batteries. Now, the chargers themselves, right here, $15. 
So for, you know, $45, you get a charger and two batteries. And uh, I don't, you can't really ask for much more than that, really. I mean, you would have to get it if you were, if you didn't have any other works tools, you'd have to buy probably two of them, obviously. One to charge and then one to sort of um, use as, for parts, to attach it to the, to the uh, case. But, I mean, to me, that's a no-brainer, especially when I saw that I actually liked that I haven't been able to use in years um, because the batteries were no good. So, uh, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do this uh, fix and see how it works out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, okay. well, here's the completed uh, pack, if you will. As you can see, this is the uh, same saw that I showed you before. And uh, actually, a buddy of mine did this here at work. He attached it. Um, you know, there's you can see the screws. Oh, I'm going to fill all it in with uh, epoxy putty. But um, yeah, it's like a again, it's an empty empty uh, battery case, but there's a 20 volt on there. And as you can see, if I can hold it out far enough. Probably the first time I've used that in three years since all these 18 volt batteries died. So yeah, I mean, you can. It seems like you can do it with almost any of these um, 18 volt batteries and convert them into 20 volt. And like I showed you, those are they're fairly cheap. So I mean, you know, why not give it a try? Because it's a good little trim saw. You know, why, why trash it just because the batteries are hard to come by? You know, I mean. You can find them, but I just, I think the newer technologies are better. I just like the lithiums better, so I didn't see the point to buying sort of Chinese NICAD batteries. These could be Chinese lithium batteries. They probably are, actually. But I just like the fact that they don't sort of gradually die. Lithium will just shut off at the very end uh, with no, you know, they just don't lose any of their uh, performance till they just drop right off the table. There's no gradual decline where you're trying to cut a 2x4 and it kind of rah, 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 and runs through it, you know, so. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so give it a go, huh? Talk to you later. Bye.